While traditional engines have been around for ages, it's becoming clear that there are smarter, more efficient ways to power our cars from point A to point B. Enter Toyota, championing hydrogen power as the ultimate game changer, one they believe could make electric vehicles a thing of the past. But how does Toyota plan to achieve this bold vision? Could their hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines truly outshine EVs? Let's dive in and find out. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. Toyota is taking a bold, multi-pronged approach to achieve carbon neutrality, and the iconic Japanese automaker might just be onto something. Since launching the revolutionary Prius back in 1997, Toyota has been a trailblazer in hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles, setting the stage for today's electric vehicle revolution. Yet despite its history of innovation, Toyota has been hesitant to jump on the all-electric bandwagon. This reluctance has sparked intense debate, especially as governments worldwide push for a ban on gas-powered cars by 2035, including those in California, Canada, the EU, and Australia. With the pressure mounting, many automakers are racing toward full electrification. Toyota, however, has taken a stand against the rush. The company declined to endorse the COP26 pledge to transition to fully electric vehicles by 2040, citing overlooked challenges in the electrification frenzy. Former CEO Akio Toyota faced backlash for his stance, but his perspective raises valid questions. Meanwhile, rivals like Jaguar have committed to going fully electric by 2025, and Cadillac and Volvo have promised to ditch gas engines entirely by 2030. Despite this, Toyota remains steadfast, questioning whether the EV hype is moving too fast for its own good. Toyota is in the news for appearing uninterested in a market where many rivals, including Honda, Ford, Mercedes, Volkswagen, and General Motors intend to phase out gasoline-powered vehicles in favor of electric vehicles. Toyota has a reputation for being among the first to adopt new technologies, so taking this path surprised us. However, its justification is really compelling. Toyota worries that making the change over to all-electric vehicles won't be feasible anytime soon. Akio Toyota said that EVs are just overhyped, and that having too many of them could be dangerous. His opinion is that the high price of electric vehicles, combined with the lack of a supporting infrastructure, renders their widespread adoption impossible. However, all of it is now hidden from the public because electric vehicles only make up approximately 1% of the global auto fleet. If the number of electric vehicles rises, reality will begin to set in slowly. The biggest issue to deal with when electric vehicles flood the market will be the demand for electricity to meet the load demand that electric vehicles will provide. By 2030, the United States needs to expand power output by 40%. In other words, the current electricity supply chain needs to receive investments totaling around $100 billion. Even if some regions of Europe and Asia currently have sophisticated grids as a result of increased electric vehicle customer demand, it would still be far from enough if every car owner switched to electric. The length of time it takes to charge an electric vehicle is the second most common complaint among owners. An electric vehicle battery pack can be fully charged at home in 8 to 40 hours. However, filling up a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle simply takes a few minutes and works the same way as a gas-powered vehicle. For their H2 vehicles, Toyota and Hyundai both provide free fill-ups. Toyota offers its customers free hydrogen refueling for six years or $15,000, whichever comes first. Similar terms of three years or $13,000 in fill-ups are offered by Hyundai. The fact that hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles are not as ecologically beneficial as claimed is another drawback. Making hydrogen requires a lot of energy, and today, fossil fuels account for 99% of production. While the vehicle itself may not contribute to pollution, the production of its fuel most certainly does. 
Finding a renewable energy option for hydrogen production is necessary to increase public interest in H2 vehicles. Infrastructure can be created, and new, more affordable, environmentally friendly methods of producing hydrogen can be discovered. It makes sense that, since the technology is still in its infancy, it will only advance in terms of powering automobiles. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles can compete with electric vehicles for drivers by matching their economy. However, even if H2 vehicles were to become as affordable and practical to use as electric vehicles, battery technology is also advancing and enhancing range, which would eliminate the advantage of hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Electric vehicle owners may find no compelling reason to switch from a Model S to a Mirai. In the end, when everything is equal, consumers will stick with what they are familiar with. However, with its dynamic force engine strategy, Toyota has gained considerable prominence. The foundation of their dynamic force engine concept is increased thermal efficiency. For instance, Toyota is said to have developed motors with a 41% thermal efficiency today, which is a noteworthy accomplishment given that the majority of gasoline engines have efficiencies of approximately 25 to 33%. Finally, the decision is up to the consumer. Battery electric vehicles and hydrogen combustion engine vehicles both have the potential to make substantial contributions to a sustainable transportation system. As is well known, it is unlikely that either technology will replace the other. Instead, they will coexist and fulfill various functions according to individual consumer tastes and circumstances. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind blowing videos.